I'm Joseph, and today I'm here with my good friends Miguel, Tish, and I've got Mariana's sister, uh, Vera, her daughter Constanza, and Miguel's daughter, uh, Akari. And uh, today we're in our local town of Fundao, and you probably recognise this place, we're at the Canil, the Cabeza de Seixo, where we were a few episodes back. Click on this link up here and you can go see that episode. Um, today, we've got quite a special episode. It's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's gonna be a very, very nice day indeed, I think, isn't it? We're, uh, we're picking up a, a new member of the family for Miguel and Tish. So yeah, let's go. Hola. Oh. <laughs> Bom dia. 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 Okay, so we've just got here at the Canil, the Cabeza de Seixo, and uh, yeah, we've got that beautiful big chorus of all the uh, lovely Serra de Estrella dogs, and uh, yeah, we're big, we're big advocates of this breed. They're absolutely fantastic breed, and Alfreda and Isabel, the people who run this kennel, they are absolutely amazing breeders. So yeah, we're really excited to see the puppy and see how he's grown. I think he's about seven weeks old now. Last time we saw him, he was about three weeks. So um, so yeah, I'm sure he's going to be a lot bigger. He's huge. He's huge. Yeah, is he? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wow. He's grown a fair bit, Miguel. He's grown. He's grown so much. You guys have done such a good job. It's very interesting for us. You you live uh, near us because you'll be able to see him. Uh, I would yeah. like to see. I want to. I want to have you guys over and make some Cuban food. Yeah. yeah Cuban food. Yes. Yeah. 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 We'll make a Cuban dish for you. But yeah. thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. He's very very. He's, a, he's one of the, the puppies. Yeah, he's one of the puppies that are more uh, strong. Yeah, good more. more uh, uh, yes. and I I beautiful. Isabel says that uh, he will be a new better, uh, but I think he can be better because the dad is. Um, is a little bit different for Yeah. For me, for me. Yeah. Well, you guys will get to watch him it's grow beautiful. up. It's beautiful. Was was Bayral the father? Sorry. Be Bayral was the grandfather. The grandfather. Yeah. Well, yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> He's the grandfather, the grandfather. He's a big boy, a big boy. With a deep bark. Come on, Bill Brown. Did he make you jump, Constanza? A sous A sous <laughs> So all of the um, all of the lovely big Serra de Estrella dogs here, they um, they have their own kennels, their cages. They've got all their indoor areas at the back where they've got their beds and things. They're extremely well cared for, and uh, they're of course let out of their cages every day without fail. They only come back here when there's strangers at the kennel like us, or at night time when they're sleeping and that sort of thing. But yeah, most of the time they're running around like you saw in the last video. They're running around on the farm once they've got to know everyone, and they're absolutely fantastic dogs. Isabel and Alfredo really know their stuff and I highly recommend if anyone is after a Serra de Estrella dog, the regional dog from this area, definitely, definitely come and give them a visit. I'm going to put their details on the screen here and yeah, I highly, highly recommend uh, giving them an email or, or, or a phone call and seeing, um, seeing uh, what they have to offer and everything. It's a fantastic place, it really is. I've just seen a couple of little puppies here and I think they might be Lucius's litter mates. Hey buddies! Hey, oh, you're friendly. <laughs> ruff, ruff, ruff. Oh, gorgeous dogs. 
gorgeous dogs and they are <gasps> wild. Here's Lucius here. Are these are these Lucius's brothers or sisters? Yes, they're, they're, they're brothers and sisters. The brothers and sisters, yeah. Let's get a yeah. Size <laughs> He's walking around saying goodbye to all of his all of his friends and family. <laughs> <laughs> Vera was just saying there that uh, that Lucius, the little the little Sarah Destrella puppy that Miguel and Tish are taking home today, looks just like a big fluffy bear. But yeah, he really does. He really does. Yeah. <laughs> now uh, the, the father is champion of Portugal. He's the Portugal. champion in Portugal. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And which which dog is the father? I know you told me last time, but I've already yeah, forgotten. Yeah, the father. Where is the father? You yeah, this one here. This dog, this dog here, and what's his name? Torga. Torga, Torga. Ah, this is the dog that was running out with us last time. Yeah, yeah. 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 So he's now the champion in Portugal. And he's very He has only two years. Two years, yeah. two years, yeah. Wow, two wow. Years last, uh, August. You can see, you can see why he's the champion though. He's a gorgeous, a gorgeous dog, he really is. Beautiful specimen. It's not normal to, to be champions. Is that right, yeah? Hola, Torga. Hola. And there's your baby. There's your baby. <laughs> Little Lucius. Yes. Yes. Because it was one of the things that they had. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's good for him to, to have a family here as well. Yeah. 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 He's, he's there. Oh, thank you. After this moment, he will grow very quickly. Very quickly, yeah. You, you can see, the, for instance, a family that has uh, uh, 15 years, and he's bigger. He's, uh, yeah. He's really He's already a lap dog. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, so we're just leaving the uh, the canal, the Cabeza de Seixo now, and uh, Miguel and Tish, they are over the moon, they've got their little Lucius now, and uh, oh, I say little Lucius, he's actually not that little, yeah, but he's um, he's going home with them now, and uh, yeah, I think he's going to have an absolutely lovely life. <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Okay, it's the next morning now, and uh, me and my dad here, we're, uh, we're in our local town of Fundao. It's uh, a Monday today, which means uh, it's market day. Uh, Fundao has the, uh, the largest regional market, and uh, it's a bit of like a, a farmer's market. It's got a nice indoor area with all of the, uh, the fruit and the vegetables, cheeses and meats and things like that. And the outdoors bit has got lots of uh, clothing, towels, tools. Uh, it's also got uh, lots of animal stalls and trees and vegetables and today it is uh we're in the middle of the season for planting cherries so we're going to nip down there see if we can order some cherry trees we're not sure if they've got the varieties that we need today because it's just after christmas uh so we might have to order them in but yeah let's take a look Si, já tá, já tá, si, é, si, um, é, o nome dela é Chloe, e uh, Chloe? Ela, é, ela nasceu um, dia 22 de novembro, é. e uh, tinha 3 kg e 400 gramas ou qualquer coisa. Tá bom? E, uh... Okay, so they've got lots of uh, lots of different trees here. They've got grapevines on the floor here as well. And they're all super cheap. The grapevines. I mean, most of these most of these plants this time of year they're bare rooted. It's cheaper to do bare rooted, and uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a nice, easy, and cheap way to do it. The grapevines, one euro twenty five each, and they're all bare rooted. They're fantastic. Red grapes, white grapes, lots of different varieties of all the all the all the different types of wine, and yeah, fantastic. But today we're not after grapevines. We're after trees. And look at this beautiful selection of all these different fruit trees here. Hola, bon dia. Bon dia. Como está today? 
So we uh, we use this store every year when we're buying our fruit trees. And uh, normally normally we buy uh, we buy maybe maybe 50 at a time, 20 at a, at a time. Depends what what space we've got in our orchards and what we need. Nós queremos uh, cinco cerejeiras mais cedo, fruto mais cedo e 15 no meio da época mais ou menos. Sim. E não sei qual variedades tem aqui. Nós temos para o início Red Pacific, Frisco e Nimba. And they're the three varieties that are good for um, for early. Uh, qual 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 tu uh, achas é melhor? Uh, melhor como sabor? Sim. Frisco. Então pode ser cinco dessas. Uh, estas aqui são mais cedo. Mais cedo, sim. Funciona bem também. Ok, tudo bem, tudo bem. Então pode ser cinco dessas e uh, 15 de uma variedade de meia época. Meia época. So we've just ordered there five early cherry tree varieties and uh, now we're going to order uh, 15 mid-season varieties. Essa é da meia época? Sim. Qual é a variedade desta? Lapan. Lapan, Lapan. Yeah, a bomb variedade, não é? So for the early varieties we've got uh, Frisco, which is a nice good early variety and for the mid variety we've got Lapan. And uh, Miguel was just telling us that he thinks these are these are going to be a fantastic variety. So uh, so yeah. Okay, so we've got all the trees there from Miguel, and uh, yeah, we highly recommend getting them from Miguel. We get them every year from him. He's got a, uh, a beautiful nursery in La Doza, and uh, I'm going to pop the details on the screen here. So yeah, if, if you need any any uh, trees, not necessarily just cherry, but any fruit trees at all, or even just ornamental trees in the area, highly recommend going to him. And um, yeah, these trees they were three euros fifty each, so bargain. Okay, muito obrigado, Miguel. Obrigado. obrigado. Tchau. Até logo. Um abraço. Do you want to give me some of them, Dad? E a uh, bom ano, não é? Bom ano. Yeah, bom ano. Obrigado. obrigado. Até obrigado. logo. Tchau. Okay, we're now back on the farm. It's uh, it's a beautiful morning. The sun is really shining. Uh, we're we're working in short sleeve shirts today. It's lovely. It's probably it feels like a spring day. It's probably I don't know about about 13, 14, 15 degrees, something like that Celsius. So um, so yeah, it's a lovely day. Uh, perfect day to get some trees in the ground. We've got all of our trees from Miguel now. So thanks a lot, Miguel. And um, yeah, now we're gonna head up to the orchard and get those planted.
Okay, that's the last cherry tree in the ground now. That took us a couple of hours, and uh, it's not been very chilly today. It's been uh, it's been relatively warm. So um, so yeah, we've been working out in t-shirts, and it's been quite nice. Although we have uh, we have sweated a little bit. So we're going to go inside now, just before we do the animals, and uh, and have a nice cold drink. And just before we do that, we're going to go turn the irrigation on and make sure all of these new young cherry trees get a drink as well, moisten the soil up, help bed their roots in a little bit, and then yeah, then we'll shut the animals in, and that's today done. Okay, it's the evening now, the fog's rolling in, and we've had a lovely couple of days, it's been a lovely week in general actually here on the farm. Uh, it's, it's winter now, so it's, it's, it's time to, to do all of our orchard maintenance, to, to make sure the, the new trees are planted, the, uh, the rest of the orchard is all fertilised up and it's got its, uh, its sheep manure and everything around it. Uh, we'll get on that next week, I think. But yeah, what have we done this week? We've, uh, we've, we've been and we've uh, seen uh, Miguel and Tish's new new member of the family, Lucius. He's uh, he's in for a lovely life, I think. He's a beautiful dog. I was going to say a beautiful little dog, but he's not that little. He's quite he's quite big for uh, whatever he is, eight weeks old or something. And um, yeah, then we went to the market. We saw um, another Miguel, Miguel Vaj, at the uh, at the nursery, and he sold us all of those lovely cherry trees. Uh, what else have we done? We've um, we've come back. We've planted the cherry trees, and yeah, it's been a lovely week in general. Thank you very, very much for watching. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much to all of our Patreons as well. It really is because of you guys that we can continue to make this content. And yeah, thank you very, very much. We, uh, we really appreciate it. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week. And uh, Happy New Year as well. Happy New Year. But yeah, thanks a lot. See you next week. Bye. Thank you.